Yo, what's up dudes, it's your brother Eagle Brav, and I'm back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Weapons Guide. Today, guys, we have a very surprisingly OP pistol for you known as the Multi-Tap. This is a base game legendary weapon, and man, this thing absolutely melts. If you guys haven't used the Multi-Tap, you definitely got to try it out if you want to see the Loot Lemon Certified God Roll Weapon card. I will put that on the screen here. You can see this one does have a little bit more damage. However, I do have a really good anointment on mine that I picked up, so definitely go for like a higher weapon damage increase anointment if you can. This is a Mayhem Level 6 six and up weapon only so if you are not mayhem level six yet or maybe five and lower you cannot get this gun you have to be on mayhem level six for this gun to drop of course we're going to show you guys how to get the gun who we're going to be farming and then go through the wiki and give you guys some gameplay at the end so to get the multi-tap we're going to fast travel to promethea primarily skywell 27 we're going to be farming a boss you probably haven't farmed in a little while known as the katagawa ball of course if you guys want to see the route i will speed it up here now as i mentioned multi-tap does only drop at mayhem level six and up so you have to at least be mayhem level six to get this to drop from katagawa ball and it does have a 16.5 percent chance to get so pretty easy to get honestly it took me maybe like three attempts and then i finally got it to drop also you'll see this zane build is basically a one shot so if you guys want to see this build i will put a link in the description for this so go check that video out uh, but when you do save and quit, you're going to end up right here every single time. So the farm is really easy. You do not have to make that trek every single time. And then we're going to go down here to Katagawa Ball. You do have to progress through the story a little bit to get to this mini boss unlocked. And then once you do, you're good to go. So there it is. Again, one shot Zane build. I show you what guns you need. I show you how the build is. And it really just makes farming a lot easier. So, of course, there's the drop with the multi-tap again. 16.5% chance and you have to be a mayhem level six and up you cannot get this any lower than that so keep that in mind of course now let's go ahead and jump into the wiki and show you guys some gameplay multi-tap is a legendary pistol in borderlands 3 manufactured by atlas it can be obtained from katagawa ball at mayhem six or above the special weapon affects the red tech says double the fun fully automatic increased reload speed and improved overall stats fires two bullets for the cost of one there is an alternative fire mode which fires a tracking grenade that causes the gun to fire bullets at every tracked target at no additional ammo cost reloading causes fast traveling cryo rockets to launch at all targeted opponents cryo rockets will detonate on impact with the environment and i gotta say guys i killed maybe the first couple enemies and then i had to I took a step i stopped because i didn't realize how quickly this gun is to kill how much damage it puts out it took me by surprise so i didn't even really know how to react the usage and description says the multi-tap is improvement over the ax19 and atlas weaponry with tracker grenades it is fully automatic has a high damage output and is excellent for crowd control since it will fire at every enemy tagged with its tracking mechanism. Its only downside is its heavily increased reload speed, which can be improved through useful artifacts or skills, and I do know I was reloading quite a bit, but this thing was taking enemies out really fast, so honestly the reload didn't bother me, uh, but that's also something to keep in mind. Considering it has the ability to fire cryo rockets, it can be useful in the hands of Zane due to his focus on cryo skills. Of course, if you guys have a Zane build that is focused on cryo, you will get the most benefit from this thing. Uh, but ultimately, this thing is freaking insane. There is a quick note here saying that the multi-tap is one of the few Atlas guns in Borderlands 3 with elemental abilities alongside the Rebel Yell and the OPQ system, which are both very good guns. So you can kind of put that in that tier and man, as I mentioned, you definitely want to go for one with a good anointment. You have to be Mayhem level 6 and up. I know I said that a couple times, but I want to make sure you guys aren't wasting your time farming this thing and not getting it. But anyway, guys, that was the multi-tap. Again, one of the better pistols I've seen in a bit, man. I know we're late game. I know we are a couple years late. Uh, but if you guys want to see some more, of course, up-to-date guides, let me know in the comments below which guns you want to see next. Also, we do have the Borderlands 4 kind of teaser rollout. Out. so when that does come out i will be of course doing those guns as well but again we're trying to catch up on borderlands 3 my goal is to have all these legendaries out for you guys by the time borderlands 4 comes out but you never know we'll see man we're gonna try to bust these out and of course if you guys don't know we are going to leave off with a fight against captain tron to show you what this thing can do against tron helps you maybe compare some other legendaries that i've put out so i will have that at the end of the video and of course if you guys do enjoy the content man be sure to hit the thumbs up sub to the channel as always i appreciate you guys for stopping by and i will catch you in the next episode peace